Right then folks, just left the gate away and the the gate area of outstanding natural beauty heading on the old drove which would have been much wider by the way all this would have been cut away this is quite a big drove really uh, they did make an a effort once to clear it back a bit but I think because of nature and hedgerows and all that now if I wanted to go to Longwood now I'd be making my way right across that field now and that would be the quick way back Right, and I'd probably be back in Cheddar by about three o'clock if I did that now. But I wanted, I had it in my mind to do Velvet Bottom. It might be a massive mistake. And we'll be facing the sun. That's the only problem coming this way. There's little bits of shade though, even along here. And even along Velvet Bottom, there is the odd tree. But it is pretty walking along here, isn't it? I'm having to use the charger. Holding the charger now. Now there's a gate there. I've been through that gate before now. And I've made my way over the, that field and found a track down to a farm, down to the bottom of area. And I've done that before. I could have come across that field a minute ago. But I decided I didn't. There's also a way, if I change my mind now, if I say don't do velvet bottom shooter, it's too much of a rush. I just nip over that fence now. Straight down. But I'm not. I'm not doing it. Once I've committed myself to the aerials mine, um, it won't be long before I'm on what's called the turn now. Um, I'm just doing an extra bit really, tacking this bit on. It's another loop further out I'm doing. Um, what it be, it's just a walk around. I'm not going to explore all the smelting tubes and <clears throat> all the old ruins uh, today. No, what I'm doing today is just literally the walk around. I've got, I like to do this when it's hot and it's the summer. I, I know it's weird, but I actually like being out when it's like this. <coughs> Look at that gorgeous field again. Isn't that a lovely field? I just love the way it's been harvested. <coughs> what it is, folks, I keep inhaling. Lots of grass and bits in the air. Gets caught in my throat. I'm going to have to take a picture of this. It's so gorgeous. Over and out a minute.
What a gorgeous view this is everyone. It's this lovely field. I'd love to run all over it. Beautiful views here. This is the best time to come. Beautiful blue sky. Even the thistles look happy. Like I say, this is an old drove. And uh, I'm, there's the aerials that we see for miles. And when I'm going through long sheep field later, we'll look back over here. Knowing that not long ago we were passing them. Right. What we do once we leave the aerials and we start going down the hill, we're going down and we're gradually making what I call the turn. What that means, we will be going back through Gowett Bottom in the direction of Piney Sites and Cheddar. Lace is undone. And I think we can do it. We're committed now. So I'm doing it. These lovely purple flowers, look at them. Running the, we have to run their gauntlet of beauty as we pass by these absolute gorgeous, gorgeous flowers all the way along here. Yeah, like I say, I walk both ways. And this is, um, I'm going to turn off to take a picture, but I'll be coming on again soon. Right, I've just met this lovely lady. I think she might have been from Germany. Um, she's riding quite a lady's bike, the basket, and she's got a hat on. She doesn't really know where she's going, but she's very shocked at the lack of cyclists, proper cyclist roads in England. So she's going down old bumpy tracks. She's not quite sure. The roads are very dangerous. I am concerned for her safety because she doesn't really know where she's going. She's got her GPS on the phone. She's looking for Blagdon Lake. Those roads around there are treacherous. There's a road down there, really, really dangerous, you know. And uh, I worry for her safety, to be quite honest. I do worry for her safety. Let me just have a look what that padlock is on there. Well, I'm trying to get ideas for padlocks, see? Some people know how to get in them. They know how to get in. Clever people do. They put things in the holes. Right then. Just a few minutes talking, I've got to be able to socialise on the night. Of course, everything you do takes time. I've got to get a move on myself now. This is the afternoon part of the walk. I haven't looked at the clock and I'm not looking at it until I am on the proper turn. 
when I get to the velvet bottom area I will check the time there's no going back then I'm committed once I'm there there's no time to go back if you know what I mean in fact that would be harder to go back now um, and do that it'll be much harder so anyway I met this lovely lady I do uh, she's over here on holiday and she's not really sure where she's going and I don't really know if you can get the I would imagine that road would link up yeah she's very brave I think she's very very brave people think I'm brave but I don't uh, in some ways I do but in other ways I think I do get scared there are times when I do get nervous when I'm on my own because you've got it is nice to see someone else who might be able to help you reassure you um, I wonder if she was camping at Pretty, because I reckon you can get to Pretty from over there. I'm not sure if she had to follow the signs. Right, over and out.